The boundary between knowing and not knowing is so clear in mathematics. You can almost see this mysterious region that our brain secretly operates. If you think about something long enough, you cross that line of understanding. Surrounded by giant walls that I could not climb. I grew up in Korea and I dreamed of becoming a poet to express the inexpressible. I eventually learned that mathematics is a way of doing that. I do research in combinatorics. My way was to build spaces from combinatorial objects. Once you have a space to move around, you can use your geometric intuition to extract information hidden in the original combinatorial structure. A good example of my work is the proof of the Dowling-Wilson conjecture. It's an old question, and the easiest special case of it is the following problem in plane geometry. Take a finite set of points on a plane and connect every pair of points by a line. Do we always get at least as many lines as points? Dowling and Wilson predicted that the answer is yes for points in an arbitrary dimension. Comparing the number of planes of a given dimension with that of a complementary dimension connected by a part of the initial point set. The conjecture can be formulated purely in the realm of discrete mathematics, but it's hard to prove within that same realm. So my collaborators and I imagined a space whose geometry untangles that difficulty. This imagined space has properties that are very similar to spaces that are familiar and more visible to us. And those properties allowed us to answer the original question using a totally different type of intuition. This is what happened in the case of Rhoda's conjecture and Dowling Wilson's conjecture, and to a large extent, Mason's conjecture. I construct and analyze and wander in the geometric realm of my imagination. And when it becomes 3 o'clock, I go to pick up my kids from the elementary school. It really wakes me up. My wife, Nayoung, is the most important person in my life. She's my friend and companion and sometimes a teacher. Every one of my works could not have been done without the help and influence of my collaborators. Being a part of a giant network of very good people gives me the freedom that I could not imagine before I became a mathematician. On clear days, I can see that I'm a small and simple part of a big and complex ancient structure. In some mysterious way, we are connected to each other, and we grow from that connection. <laughs>